What's going on everyone, welcome back to the video. Today um, we're going to be talking about prayer. I want to talk about like how to pray. Some people, I know, I've told people who are Christians, they're like, I don't really get how to pray, what praying is about. Pray, praying, what praying is about. So I was like, okay, cool, I'm going to make a video on it and just chat about prayer because prayer is awesome. I love to pray. I think it's very really cool. It helps me in loads of ways. So let's just talk about prayer. Um, First thing to note about prayer is that it's a conversation. Like imagine you were talking to someone and for the whole time you're going blah, 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 blah. That's me trying to talk, by the way. Um, and you didn't give them any room to answer. You don't give them any room at all. You just keep on talking. Imagine that. Is that a conversation? Because to me, I think that's a one-way conversation. And that's what a lot of people do when it comes to prayer. They just go bang, 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 bang. This is what we're doing. To, this is what we're talking to God about. But they don't give any time for God to respond, to reply, to talk back. It's a two-way conversation. That's the main thing of today. Um, it's a two-way conversation, so give time and make space for him to talk. Don't always feel like you've got to talk in prayer. You can honestly just chat and chill and just let him wait until he speaks to you. Does that make sense? Uh, you don't always have to be praying and actually saying stuff. A lot of the time, wait and let him respond because it's a two-way thing, it's not a one-way thing. Um, secondly, why do we pray? We pray because um, we're talking to God, it's a conversation. Um, having Being a Christian is fully about a relationship with God. And I know that if I have friendships, um, if I don't talk to them for a while, those friendships might not be as strong as they could be because I'm not talking to them. Same with prayer. If I'm not, if I'm not praying to God a lot, if I'm not seeking God and talking to God a lot, I won't have a good relationship with God, not because he's got any of it's because I distance from him. So the reason we pray is to keep this relationship alive, to keep this conversation alive, to keep growing in him, to keep learning about him. So the reason we pray is to have a conversation with him, to be part of him, to talk to him and make it be a two way conversation, not one way, because there's no point in that. He's not, he can't reply if you keep talking. Does that make sense? Third thing, prayers about patience. Um, I've got, I've learned this, and it's the hardest thing to learn. It's the hard one. I'm still learning it. Um, prayer, you've got to be patient. Wait for him to talk to you as well. Like, you sometimes he won't reply, not because um it's bad, it's done anything bad, or anything like. It's because sometimes in the broader aspect, it's better for you to learn it a different way. So it's it's a lot about patience. So a lot about patience. Always be patient with it. Always. Don't, try not to ask for something and you wait a minute if he hasn't replied. Like, oh, it doesn't matter, it doesn't exist. No, um, be patient with it, trust him and have a longing for it, if that makes sense. Try and be patient when it comes to it. Um, there are a few things. I found um, a verse, some verses what I think really help me with prayer and shows the power with prayer. It's John 1, 14 to 15 or 16. We'll see, we'll, we'll see what happens. This is the confidence we have in approaching God. That if we ask for anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we will have what he asked of him. So showing that if it's according to his will, God's going to answer your prayers. It's saying prayer works. Prayer is powerful. Prayer does work. Prayer does bring you close to God and prayer helps you. If you need something, don't be afraid to ask. But prayer is not just all about asking. Imagine if you're in a relationship. Let's go back to the relationship scenario. Don't always just be, you don't always ask of something for someone all the time. Can I have this, can I have this, can I have this? You talk to them. Try having that view when it comes to praying with God and see what happens. Because that's really cool. When it's not just, hey, I want this, this, this and this. Um, try and pray to him like that and try and talk to him. So that's um, about prayer. That's the Bible verse. John 1 is really cool because it shows that if you have confidence in him, pray. So it's all about having faith. So when you pray, be praying expecting him to reply. Pray with expectance. Talk to him with expectance and build up relationship with him. And all comes from prayer. And how to pray is really just chatting. Just have a chat with him. Like, there's nothing spiritual. Like, you don't do any sign. Don't do anything like that. Nothing spiritual at all like that. Like, spirit. I'm saying spiritual because it is spiritual, but not, like, typical spiritual. Does that make sense? My camera literally just died whilst I was about to end it. So, yeah. It's not, like, spiritual in the sense of... It, no, it is spiritual. But, like, I don't want to say spiritual because that's very connotations that's all like holy and do like those are signs like it's not like that it's just like a conversation oh, i hate oh, i miss it my hands hurting already um have a conversation with him talk to him and just be there for him talk to him have a conversation sit down you don't have to do anything and if you're struggling look up the lord's prayer start with that and then just chat about your day chat about what's going on 
and just vent, venting basically. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope this helped you at all. If it does, with any tips, please comment down below and subscribe and like. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Peace.